going everybody? It's been a while. I am Thomas Davis. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video today, in the title you see, I am doing my predictions for the Euro 2020 tournament. Now, I know it's been a while, I've not done a video for ages. It's only because when lockdown lifted, I went back to work, I couldn't have time to make videos, I didn't really know what to do video wise. But I do have some ideas and I've now got some time to do it. So I thought to, to kickstart making YouTube videos again, I'm going to do my, do my Euro 2020 predictions. So I'm going to predict obviously the base of the tournament, like, like the winner and uh, the group stage is going to go, and etc. Et 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 I'm going to predict like my dark horses, my player of the tournament, and the top goal scorer. And hopefully, hopefully by the end of the tournament, all those predictions could hopefully come true, fingers crossed. So as you see, I'm in a different, different, different place instead of my house. I'm in my local gym at the moment. I'm in, I'm in my local gym, I'm in the studio, with a nice lovely view with the pole on the way, but still it's looking really, really nice, so let's start off with my predictions, let's go. Okay, first off we're going to go into the tournament predictor at the bottom here. Now already I've made my predictions already, so I'm just going to share them with you right now, as you can, as you can see. So first off we've got group A, now I've gone for Italy to win the group, Turkey to finish second, Wales third and switch to the fourth. I know a lot of people have predicted, predicted this type of group. Like, if they have that one on if they have not lost the game since September 2018, so they have to win the group. Watch the pressing Wales for a minute. <laughs> I do think Wales can do well. I know they've got lots of championship players in, in their team, but I, I think they'll come first. I, I think they'll have a decent tournament. I still think they can win against Switzerland, because, well, well so probably does think that Switzerland can, go, can finish third. It could happen. But I've got back the home nation, so I'm going with Wales to finish third in the group. Hopefully, fingers crossed that will happen. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Group B, I've gone for Belgium to win the group. Denmark, Denmark. I've gone for <laughs> I've gone for Belgium to win the group because they've just got some amazing players, and, and I think this is their time. Like they've got so many quality players in their teams, like Yuri Tillemans. Obviously, I'm a Leicester City fan, so and Kevin De Bruyne. I just think this is their time to shine, and I really expect them to win this group. If they don't win this group, this could be a complete disaster. Denmark to finish second. They have to. They've got some really good teams. They've got Casper Schmeichel, a Leicester City fan. Christian Eriksen, they've got some amazing players, and I really hope, hope they can do well. I think they'll do well. And I've been to Denmark a couple of times. It's a lovely country. I've got Russia to finish third, Finland to finish fourth. I know it's Finland's first ever tournament. They'll be absolutely buzzing. But I, just, but I just don't think they'll be that strong enough to handle the rest of the teams in this group. Group C, as you can see, I've got a bit of a shocker really. I've gone for Ukraine to win the group. And the reason why I say this is because even though Holland are a really good team, they've got some really great players. I just think that, you know, Holland are missing Virgil van Dijk and they're, and they're missing now Van der Beek. And I, and, I, and, I, and I just think, like, I don't want to say they'll struggle, you know. This, you know, I could be wrong, you know, I could be wrong, you know. Holland could pull a shock up. But I do think Ukraine could be the dark horses and win the group. And I've gone for Holland to finish second, also for third, and North Macedonia fourth. I know everyone's saying that North Macedonia are going to finish bottom, and they could finish bottom. But they did beat Germany in the World Cup qualifier. So if they beat Austria or Ukraine, then, 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 then you never know. They could be the shockers in, in this league or this group. Now, Group D, England's group. And as you can see, I've got England to finish second. Now, obviously, being an Englishman, it may be a bit of a shock actually, like, why have I got England to, England to finish second? The reason being is because, even though we've got an amazing squad, I don't think we'll lose in any games. But I just think we'll, I think we'll draw to Croatia, and I think we'll draw to Scotland, or win against Scotland, and I think we either win or draw against the Czech Republic. And I just feel that, that Croatia will win all their games, and I, don't, I just think, I think they'll finish top of the group. I, I know it sounds quite weird, like, you know, I love England to win the group. I want us to get out of this group. I mean, it would be a complete disaster if we did not get out of this group. I mean, if we still finish third, that'd be amazing. But it all depends on how, how the other 13 play, 13 teams do, third place teams do. And I've got Chef Chirac finished fourth, so can England go all the way? I'll we'll find out in my rest of my predictions. So we have gone for Croatia first, England second, Scotland third, and the Czech Republic fourth. All right, group E. Quite obviously, you've got Spain to win the group, they have to win this, that group. Oh. Poland, Poland will finish second. I just think Lewandowski will be bang on form. I know he, he can play different in the, in the Poland team to, to the Bayern Munich team, 
but I just think I think he will score goals as tournament. So Sweden will finish third, and Slovakia will finish fourth. Group F, the group of death. Now as you can see, I've got a little bit of a shot here. I've gone for Germany to win the group, France to finish second, Portugal third, and Hungary fourth. Now the reason behind that is because like, you know, yes, France are the favourites to win, and they could possibly win the whole thing. But I just think, you know, Germany got some amazing players at the moment, and, and also it, it's their manager's last tournament, so obviously they were putting up fantastic performances for him. And, and even though France are really good attacking-wise, defensive-wise, you know, they're not too strong at the back. Now I could, this could bite me seriously. I do think I could be wrong. If they keep like three clean sheets in a row, then this will come back at me when I review this in July. But I do think Germany win the group. Portugal, again, they've got Cristiano Ronaldo, Ruben Diaz, Bruno Fernandes, they've got Jota. But I just think, I just think they'll finish third. That's, you know, and Hungary, I'm Hungary finished fourth. Sorry, Hungary. Now, now let's predict the, the teams. That will also, also the, the four best third place teams, <laughs> as you may know. So Portugal will, will qualify. Oh, I'm going to say Scotland. I think Scotland will do it. I really want to say Wales. Oh, this is hard, really. I'm going to back my home nation to say Wales. And I'm going to say Sweden. So I'm going to say Wales, Scotland, Sweden and Portugal to finish third. Obviously they won't finish third. And we'll qualify for the knockout stages. Right, let's go. Let's do, let's do our predictions. Belgium, Sweden. Belgium, sorry. It, it's the Hollands. Now, I haven't said that really because I'm actually going to, to the round of 16 game at Wembley Stadium and I'll be seeing the winner of Group A against the runner-up Group C. And this is the thing I really want to see. I really want to see Italy Holland. I really want to see that. So I'm going to say Italy, Italy going to win that. Germany Wales, or I'm going to say Germany. I think Germany would just be too strong for Wales. England Poland, I'm going back England, obviously. Spain Scotland. Ooh, that's a tough. Scotland could pull a shocker here. Scotland could pull off a shocker. It's tough. I really want to say. I want to say Spain, but I don't know. Screw it, I'm going for Scotland. I think Scotland could do it. You know? And if I'm right, oh, that would be amazing. Croatia, France. Repeat, repeat of the World Cup final. I'm going to say France. Ukraine, Portugal. I'm going to say Portugal. Turkey, Denmark. I'm going to say Denmark. Okay, let's move on to the quarterfinals. Or some tasty ones here. Ooh. Belgium, Italy. Oh, again, big one. Because Italy will win all their games. Belgium will. This one's mouthful. This one could, could go to penalties. Oh, but I'm just. Gonna... Belgium, Italy. Yeah. I'm going to say Belgium. I think they'll do it. Germany, England. I think we'll do it. We have to do it. Scotland, France, I'm going to say France, sorry, it's the end of the road, Scotland. Portugal, Denmark, that's not a tough one. Wow. I'm well, I want to say Denmark, because I just love an upset. I think, I want to say Denmark, I think they could also be the underdogs, the surprise packages. But could probably be too strong for them. Go for Denmark. I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Right, Belgium, England semi-final. Could we do it? Yes, I think we. I want to say, I'm, 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 I know it sounds very biased, but I do think we can get to the final. France, France, England final. Now everyone's predicted this. Everyone keeps predicting like England, France final, and everyone's going to say France are going to win it. Who do I think will win it? Come on, we have to. I, you know, yes, I don't. Yes, well, yes, I think. Yes, I think we'll finish second in the group. But I do think we can win it. I honestly do think we can win it. Let's say that my predictions have been saved. Can we win it? Of course we can. I think we can. I hope it comes home. I really hope it comes home. Those are my predictions. Now that my, my tournament predictions have been done, I'm not, I'm not going to give you my, my prediction for, for the top goal scorer and the player of the tournament. Right, starting with top goal scorer, I've been thinking about it for a while. I love to say Harry Kane. I do think Harry Kane will get a lot of goals because obviously we need goals to get to the final. 
but also I thought of Olivier Giroud. I mean, I know he's not playing much games for Chelsea at the moment, but he's six goals away for beating Thierry Henry's record by the time I'm, the time I'm recording this. So, oh, but I thought about it, and obviously I think Harry Kane could do. I think Harry Kane will be the, the top goal scorer for the Euros, and I think if he does, he will leave Tottenham. Sorry, that's my opinion. <laughs> I think he can leave Tottenham, but, but, that's, but that's for another, another, another video. Then if a player at the tournament, I have thought about this long. I do think it'll be a French player. I thought of Lingolo Kante. It could be. I think he could be the player of the tournament. He's just too good. He's really, really good. He's a fantastic midfielder. I still wish he was at Leicester. Do I think he'll do it? He will do it. So I've got Harry Kane to win, win, win the Golden Boot. Lingolo Kante will be player of the tournament. England will win the tournament. I think Denmark will be the, with the dark horses along with Ukraine, but, but I think Denmark will, will reach the semi-finals in my predictions. And I think that's it really. I think I think I've covered I think I've covered everything that I've mentioned. The winners, the dark horses, for the moment, top goal scorer. So yeah that's it everyone. Those are my Euro 2020 predictions. I hope to make more Euro 2020 videos again very soon. So if you haven't joined this video please leave a like, comment, subscribe or let me know in the comments down below what your predictions are. I'd love to hear from I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching guys, I am Tom Darius, I'll see you guys again soon, enjoy the rest of your day.